Hello everyone, welcome back. Here is Van Amsen and today we will solve a lead code problem to sum uh, one of the most popular problem uh, on uh, interviews, this time in uh, Dart programming language. So let's start uh, our uh, implementation, but first uh, let's look at follow-up question. So can you come up with an algorithm that is less than O n time complexity? So task is really simple. So we are given a array of integer num and uh, an integer target. And we need to return indices of two numbers such that they up to the target uh, number. And uh, we cannot use a brute force approach with two nested loops. So we need to come up with something more efficient. So for example, we can use a map, and then we will look over the all right, just one. So our time complexity will be just O n. So let's start uh, implementation. So creating a map to store the number as the key and its index as the value. So var map new map int int and iterate over the list. So for int e zero num length i plus plus, so increment and calculate the complement. So int complement equals target minus num at position of i. And if the map contains the complement, so if map contains key complement, then we return. So return the index of the complement from the map and the current index of current number. So return map complement and uh, current index. So if the complement was not found and the current number and its index the map so map num i is i and if no solution is found return an empty list so we return empty list as simple as this so let's uh, run our implementation and see if it's working. Hopefully, yeah, <laughs> it's working. And uh, so for example, if we have like a test case of 2, 7, 11, uh, 15, we first start with uh, two. So target is nine. And we know that current number is two. So complement is seven. So if we know that we currently in possession of two, so we want to know if we have previously encountered number that is complement, so seven, then we have our um, target number and we check the array only once. So, but we don't have encountered seven before. So we add our number two and we put a uh, key as a number and value as index. So index zero, and then we go with next iteration and it's number seven. So we know that currently we have seven, nine minus seven is two. So we check whether two was an encounter before and yeah, it was an encounter. So we retrieve the index of our two. So in this case, zero, and also we return uh, our current index. So one, so output is zero one. So all is working and time complexity is uh, oh, and because we just traverse uh, array only once. Uh, so let's run for unseen test cases. And yeah, it's a pass and runtime beats 76% uh, with runtime and memory by 28%. So all is working. I hope you like uh, this video. Please like, subscribe and uh, share for more, more coding uh, tutorials and challenges. And as usual, happy coding, keep practicing, and see you next time.